didn't mean to draw it negative sign twice. Okay? Negative 240 degrees. The negative is because it's going in the clockwise direction, and 240 is what's left when you take out the 120 degrees. So if you wanted to find another negative coterminal angle, you would go all the way around in the negative direction and then add another 240 to get there, and you would continue just going in the negative direction for as long as you wanted, until you're 80 years old if you wanted to. So those are coterminal angles, but the principal angle is the first positive angle as you go around from the initial arm. Okay, now we're going to get to the concept of a related acute angle. This is extremely important. You'll be using it throughout all of trigonometry from here, grade 12, calculus, on to university. This concept of a related acute angle. So a related acute angle is formed by the terminal axis, sorry, the terminal arm and the x-axis. So I'm going to draw uh, again this initial or this principal angle of 120 degrees. Okay, there you go, 120 degrees. Okay, and that's theta. Okay, beta is what we're going to be calling the related acute angle. So beta is always between the terminal arm and the x-axis. So in this quadrant, it would be right here. Notice I'm not drawing, drawing any arrow indicating direction on here because there never is direction, okay? The terminal, the related acute angle is always positive. It's never negative, um, it's always positive, and it's always acute. So that means between zero and 90 degrees. So to find the size of this related, so we label this beta, and we put the little angle there. So how can we find beta? Well, if we went all the way here, we would be at 180. But we've taken 120 of that 180, so we just do 180 degrees minus 120 degrees, so our beta is 60 degrees. Okay? Now, if you have a principal angle that terminates here in quadrant 3, this would be theta. Let's say in this case it's 200 degrees. Okay, I know I drew that bigger than that, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so beta then, a lot of people often want to put it here, but it's not. It's always between the terminal arm and the x-axis. So beta is actually right here. So how can we find what beta is in this case? Well, all the way to here is 200, but we can take out 180 of it and see what's left. So beta in this case is 200 degrees minus 180, so what's left is 20 degrees. So this angle here is 20 degrees. Okay, what if we have an angle that terminates in the fourth quadrant? So here we might have theta equals, I don't know, 315 degrees. Okay, again, it's between the terminal arm and the x-axis, so it's here. That's where beta is. So we can find beta because an entire way around the circle would be 360, but we've taken out 315 degrees, so whatever's left is beta. So beta in this case is equal to 360 degrees minus 315 degrees, so we're left with 45 degrees. So beta is 45 degrees. You need to study this. You need to understand this. It is so important. So I really encourage you to pause the video right now and look at everything we've done in this note before I move on to the examples. If you have any questions or there's something that you don't understand, make a mark, write it down on a piece of paper, email me, whatever you need to do. This is very crucial stuff, folks. So example one. Determine the principal angle and the related acute angle of negative 225 degrees. So the first thing you should notice is that it's negative, so theta is negative. Okay, so therefore we're going to be going this way, right, in a clockwise direction. 
So the first thing you want to do is draw, draw a sketch on the XY axis. Where is this arm going to terminate? So my initial arm is always here on the, X, the positive X axis. Because theta is negative, I'm going in this direction. So this would be negative 90, negative 180, negative 270. So it's somewhere between negative 180 and negative 270. To be honest, it doesn't really matter how accurate it is within the quadrant as long as you get it in the right quadrant. Okay, so here we go. Here's theta equals negative 225. So you have to label it. So now we have to label the required angles that we're looking for. So the principal angle is the first positive angle with the same terminal arm. So that means it's going to be from here to here. So this is, we'll say theta P for the principal angle. The related acute angle is always between the terminal arm and the X axis. So that will be right here. And that's beta. Okay? Use color if you have it. It just helps to further your understanding. So now we have to figure this out. So how can we figure out the principal angle? Well, all the way around once would be 360 degrees. And we've taken out 225 of it. So we can just do 360 degrees minus 225 degrees. And you're left with 135 degrees. And that makes sense because 135 is between 90 and 180. So when going in that direction, it should land in quadrant two. So that makes sense. Because when you add 135 and 225, you get a full 360 degrees, we're all good. But beta, how do we find beta? Well, uh, either you can use the principal angle or you can use this negative angle, either way. But I'm gonna use the principal angle. So if you went all the way from here to here, you don't necessarily have to draw this, but if you went all the way like that, that would be 100, 180 degrees. But you have to take out this red section and then you're left with just the green section, the related acute angle. Okay? So 180 minus 135 is 45 degrees. Another way of doing it is just saying if this is 225, I'll take out this 180 and you would also have been left with 45 degrees. But you have to make sure that that's positive because it's acute. So remember the related acute angle is always positive and always between 0 and 90 degrees. Okay, one more example. Okay, draw, determine two positive and one negative coterminal angle for theta is 43 degrees. So if theta is 4, 430 degrees, the first thing we want to do is draw theta. So theta is in quadrant one because it's between zero and 90. So it's about here with the initial R being here. So this is theta equals 43 degrees. Okay, uh, so now I want to draw additional angles. So two positive and one negative coterminal angle. So the first positive one, again, we can go around one full time and then keep going until we stop. So let's call that theta two. So then we can move to step three and calculate. So theta two, we went around fully one time and then we added another 43 degrees. So we got 403 degrees. Okay, so to find another um, positive related acute angle, you can this time go around twice. Gets a bit crazy here, my drawings. And then stop at the terminal arm. So I'll label that theta three. So theta three represents twice around the full circle, two times 360 plus the additional 43 degrees to get to that terminal arm. So that would be uh, 763 degrees. Okay, one negative coterminal angle. 
you can simply just go in the clockwise direction. So start from the initial arm and go this way until you hit it. So that could be theta 4. So theta 4 is just the negative version of 360 minus 43 degrees. Because if you went around all the way, it would be 360, but you have to take out this 43. So that leaves you with negative 317 degrees. And there you have it. So read the learning goals and the success criteria. These are all of the things that you're expected to be able to do and how you will know that you did it properly and you did it well. So here we go. We're starting on this journey of doing angles on the Cartesian plane and understanding how angles work when they're larger than 180 degrees or less than even zero degrees. So thanks for watching and I hope you learned lots.